Hey everybody, it's Friday. That means it's time for another question and another answer with Ask Octopus. Today we're talking about database deployments. We get this question a lot, especially from people getting started with Octopus, but even sometimes from somebody who's already been using Octopus for their normal application deployments and they're ready to automate their database deployments. I'll go ahead and spoil it here. The answer is yes, but I want to show you some resources we have so you can choose how to do your database deployments. Over the last few years, our team has written a lot of blog posts and examples for doing different types of database deployments. So if you're just getting started, these are great resources. All of the links I'm showing here will be down in the description. So if you want to get started, check down there, click on some of those links. You can read these blog posts. Uh, we do have quite a few database centric blog posts that you can take a look at. And the other thing I want to draw attention to is the samples that we've written. So a lot of these, I believe Sean's written the majority of these, but these are all from our advisory team where we we give you advice and, and guidance on how to use Octopus. We have a lot of different examples for whether you're using SQL Server, MySQL, Oracle, and then within that, what database technology or what deployment tool you want to use for that database, whether it's DBUp, the built-in Microsoft tooling, Redgate, or some of the other open source options like uh, Roundhouse or Liquibase. And if you want to see these in action, these are actually links to our samples instance. So it's there's guest access. You can see that I'm logged in as a guest, you can come in and actually see set up examples of deploying to SQL Server. This is the target SQL Server space with a variety of tools. You can also switch over and look for target Oracle, target Postgres, and you'll be able to switch to those spaces and see examples for deploying database changes to those specific platforms. So those are some resources that can help you get started with your database deployments, whether you're deploying to SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, any of those, we've got the resources available for you. If you have any other questions about those database deployments, feel free to reach out to us and our team will get you an answer. Do you have a question about how to use Octopus? Email advice at octopus.com and somebody from our team will get you an answer. You might even see it on a future episode. Thanks for watching and happy deployments.